If you want to become a natural fast, watch this video. Welcome to the short video on consistency and how it will make you a natural in a very short time frame. My mentor recommended this book called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. In this book, it says if you take a penny and you doubled it every day for 30 days, at the end of 30 days, you will end up with $5.3 million. It's called the 1% rule or the compound effect. And it works the same with becoming competent at a skill like meeting women. Now, is meeting women really a skill? Well, that's debatable. Does it take a skill set to become confident enough to walk up to any woman and engage with her confidently at a moment's notice? Sure. If you're a guy who has no experience with engaging with a woman in a sexual, non-platonic way, chances are you never develop the skills to A, engage with a woman in a way that makes her curious about you, B, engage with a woman in a way that makes her want to text you back right away, or C, engage with a woman in a way that sparks sexual attention and emotional attention. This is where a consistent practice becomes crucial. Think about it. If you went out every day for 30 days and practiced one skill, how good or how confident do you think you would feel in your ability to execute this skill after 30 days than when you first started? How long until you start seeing a change in your results? For example, if you made it a practice to go out every day and extend your hand when you met a woman to introduce yourself, how long do you think it would take before it started to become very instinctual and you started to do it without even thinking about it? How about if you gave a woman a compliment at the end of every interaction or said, hey, give me your number, we should go out sometime. How long do you think it will take for that to become very instinctual? But also how long do you think it'll take before some girl's like, sure, and gives you a number? It probably wouldn't take much time at all. Again, this is why consistency is key when it comes to being a natural. So if you're wondering what specific actions you can take to speed up the learning curve, I've got a few I recommend and the reasons why I recommend them. This first exercise is designed so that you can learn how to get your body in front of enough people so that you can learn to ground out your nervous system. If you have a story about bothering people or stopping people, then this is a really good exercise for you because it's going to challenge you. It's going to challenge your belief system or the stories that you have specifically saying that when I walk up to people to talk to them, I'm bothering them. This is big for guys that I work with. They see a person and I'm like, go over here and stop them and ask them for time and directions. And immediately they're like, I feel like I'm lying to them. I feel like I'm bothering them. I don't want to go over there and disturb them with some BS that I really don't want to know. Well, again, you're not really looking at it from the perspective of this is a tool for growth. The more people you can learn to get in front of and learn to relax your nervous system and ground out all the chaos that's going on internally within you, I'm bothering people, anxiety, I don't know what to say after, all these things that come up, you'll notice that you get gradually better at conversing with people, but also you get a lot better at stopping people. So this exercise is asking for time and directions. Very simple, basic, indirect stops. Hey, do you know I can find a Starbucks around here? Hey, is there a McDonald's around here? Hey, where's the closest Walmart around here? Do you know? Hey, are you local? Hey, I'm trying to find um, a Burger King around here, but I'm not, I'm not from here. Or maybe I am from here and I'm just, I haven't found the Burger King yet. My phone died. Where's Starbucks? Right? So you're just getting really comfortable getting your body in front of people. And what you'll learn by doing this is that people are very friendly. Very few people would just pass you by. And if they do pass you by, this is one of those little nuances that need to be, needs to be fixed. And this challenge or this exercise is going to give you an opportunity to work on the little nuances. Let's say you go out and you're doing some stops. Hey, time and directions. What's going to happen is you're probably going to show up very small. You're probably going to shrink. You're probably going to, you know, try to make it so in a way that you're coming off not threatening and very, very nice, and overly nice. Right. And this is the reason that people get passed up because they're shrinking themselves and people are like, they don't want to deal with that because if you're treating yourself like that, then that's how they're going to treat you. Right. Your energy determines how people are going to treat you. So this exercise is really good at showing you how to start showing up, being bigger in your energy, being more confident, because if you don't, you're going to keep getting passed by. 
And if you need to get people to stop, you're going to have to show up and be a little bit bigger. And those are the little nuances in this exercise. So go out and do about 10 of those a day. I would just go out and be like, guys and girls, I would go out and do 10 indirect stops a day, time, direction. Hey, my phone died. What time is it? Right. And get over the idea that you're lying to people or that you're bullshitting people. This is about you growing. Your story about you're lying to people and that you're bothering them is the reason you're stuck where you are right now. Stop being a nice guy. Go out there and do the exercise and grow. Next one. Now, this one is really great at helping you learn to hold a conversation and be interesting in your conversation. And what this one is, is it's holding a conversation for one to three minutes, learning how to spin off an indirect question like time or directions into a full blown conversation. One to three minutes is not hard to do, but it may seem hard to do if you're not, if you're having trouble even talking to a person for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, it's going to seem very, very challenging. But in this, you're going to have to learn how to get curious about the person that you're talking to, how to find genuine curiosity, how to trust feeling it. Like literally trust your instincts, trust what your body is saying, surrender to your body, not your mind. And then you'll start to realize that you have all sorts of stuff to talk about and all, all types of curiosity. Oh, sorry, I can't even speak straight. All types of curiosity about this person that uh, you're asking for directions or time with. Now, of course, I got videos on what to do when it comes to these scenarios so that you're not stuck. Like, how do I, what do I say? Like, there's a ton of videos already done on that, right? O on feeling and dropping into your body and trusting that your body already knows what to say. So go back and watch some of those videos and then put it into practice with these practices. And I guarantee you, you're going to start to see results as little as one to two days. Imagine doing this for 30 days. Like you're going to be you're going to be a powerhouse when it comes to approaching people, stopping people, holding conversations. And it's going to make it a lot easier when you actually go out to talk to that girl that you think is very cute and beautiful because you've had had enough practice and training to do so. Again, if you need more help with this, we're doing a 30-day program called 30 Days to Approaching Freedom, uh, starting on November 13th through December 12th. If that's something that you're interested in, hit the link in the description. I would love to work with you for 30 days straight pounding these ideas into you consistently until you start to see the results that you came for. Anyways, on to our next one. Now, this one right here is going to teach you how to create tension with people because when you are dealing with women, you're going to need to know how to spark tension. The number one thing that happens with women and guys is when a guy walks up to a girl, starts talking to her, especially a nice guy, the biggest thing girls take away is that this guy was so boring, so boring. They're not entertained. They're not interested because there's not a whole lot of fun tension in the interaction. So this exercise is designed for you guys to go out, learn how to create tension and deal with people's reaction to you bringing up tension. Now, this one is called attention opener. And I got these from Fearless, right? These, these are some of the, the exercises that we went out and did every day for months on end, years on end. And I still go out and do them, even though I've already gotten better at approaching because they're really good at working out any of the insecurities that you have, any of the kinks that you have, any of the places that you might be holding back. These are really good for bringing that stuff up, bringing up little fears, bringing up little worries about how people are going to look at you and what they're going to say to you. And are they going to want to fight you because you said this, all this, all this BS that we have uh, in the back of our minds. So what attention opener looks like is going out and saying, hey, what's your favorite color? Uh, Batman or Superman? Who's your favorite superhero? Hey, can you grab me an Uber? And just watch people respond to it. A lot of people are just going to pass you by and be like, what? Why are you asking that? It's a stupid question. Right? Maybe they're not going to verbalize it, but they're going to walk away and you're going to feel like that. But as you get more confident in asking it, you're going to start noticing people start to perk up and give you an answer. Right? Some people are going to be like, oh, I don't have a favorite color. And the people are going to be like, purple. Or my favorite color is blue. Right? And if you get really confident with it, they're going to slow down and they're going to stop and they're going to say, blue, Why? And boom, there you go. You got an opportunity to ground out some of that tension that you just created and really practice how to be more grounded in this particular scenario. Now, I'll go out and do it and I might say, hey, what's your favorite color? And they might say blue. And they're going to say, they say, why? I say, I'm with the Color Institute of America and I'm just doing a survey. And then they start laughing because they know I'm bullshitting, right? But I'm just having fun out here doing it. I'm asking these questions because I'm really wanting to grow. And then after I have that little tension spike and I say that I'm with the Color Institute of America, I get really serious. I'm like, I'm just kidding. I'm out here just kind of working on my confidence and I'm just asking people random questions so that I can get over, you know, the fear of dealing with just strangers and all that stuff. 
And people respect that. And people are like, oh, that's super cool. Like, uh, my brother does something like this, or my sister does something like this, or I did a workshop a year ago, blah, blah, blah. People are fascinated with that type of stuff. So go out and do tension openers. Find your own questions that work for you. Maybe it's not a superhero question. Maybe it's not a color question. Maybe it's what's your, what's your favorite vegetable, right? What's your favorite fruit? What's the best fruit in the world? And just get them to stop and talk to you for a second and then add on what you learned from the last exercise, which is can you turn that into a one to three minute conversation? And people like that stuff. People like people who can spark tension, but also even more so guys who can actually ground it out. And when you get in front of a woman and you're in a conversation with her, you might say some random stuff like, let's say you meet a girl and you think she's sexy and you're like, hey, I thought you were very sexy. I just want to come over here and meet you. You're chatting up with her at some point in the conversation. You're like, I'm just kind of curious though. What's your, what's your favorite fruit? Right? She might be like, what the f***? And, it's, and it's, the funny, it's funny because it's random. And she'll start laughing just off the randomness of it. And you're like, oh, no, I'm serious. What's your favorite fruit? Because I don't know if we can be friends if you don't like, uh, if you don't like, like pineapples. Right? I can't, I, can't, I can't hang out with people who don't like pineapples. Especially on pizza, right? That's my thing. And then they'll start laughing and it, it, creates, it creates enjoyment. And then they start to get attracted to you because not only are you funny, but you just say random stuff sometimes that makes them laugh. Um, and they love that. Women love to laugh. We already know that, right? That's the key to their heart. It's laughter. So go out and try these tension openers, get really good at it. And for 30 days, if you go out and you do this every day for 30 days, you're going to become a tension machine when it comes to talking to women. And you're going to have so many women attracted to you because you're not having born platonic conversations On to the next one. Now, this one is the last one. And if I was starting over from scratch, this is the order that I would go in. Like, let's say if you strip me from all of my skills to go out and talk to women, I would do it in the order I just gave you, with this being the last one. I would go out and I would ask for what I want. And Brian's got a really good video on this, right? He always talks about stepping into tension, going into McDonald's and asking for free fries, right? And creating a little bit of tension there. But in a weird way, you're kind of asking, you're kind of asking for what you want, whatever's on your mind. But I would do this in relation with women. I, if I walked up to a woman and I thought she was very beautiful, I'd ask for a number. I'd say, well, give me your number. Let's go out sometime, right? Or I would say, uh, you know, I'm just looking to hook up. I'm not really looking to have a girlfriend, right? Really, really speaking your truth because you'll start to notice that when you start to talk to more women, the more you're solid in yourself and the more you don't waver, they get so attracted to you when you don't waver because all of a sudden they got a man. They got a guy who's solid. They got a guy who's not trying to... Uh, bend to their needs, bend to their world, their idea of everything. And that's how they know they got a strong guy. If you're a guy who's a people pleaser and you're scared to own who you are, what you like, your wants, needs, desires, especially your sexual and intimate ones, it's going to be very dry and very platonic and it's not going to go anywhere. You're probably just going to get friends on, honestly. So <laughs> go out and start asking for what you want. Actually, as you're sitting here watching this video, write down what it is you actually want. In life, in dating, in intimacy, be really honest with yourself. Maybe you're a guy who wants a relationship, right? And that's fine. Be like, yo, I, want, I, actually, I actually want a girlfriend. I really do. And maybe you're a guy who just wants to go out and have a lot of fun sexually, but you don't want to commit to anyone. That's okay because we're all at different places in our lives, and that's all right to do that. But if you can't admit it to yourself, you can't start the process of actually getting it. So start to write it down. Write down everything that you want. Write down what you want financially, money-wise. Write down what you want in your intimate life, sexually. How many girls do you want to be dating a week? How many girls do you want to be hooking up with a week? In a week. Get all that stuff on paper. Be very honest with yourself. That level of vulnerability and truth in yourself, and you bring that into a conversation with a girl, uh, man, you're going to score so many points just off the fact that you're showing up and you're not being scared of who you are. And women love men who know who they are. If you like this video, and you want to continue building your confidence as a man, go back and watch some of my previous videos. Go watch the first, mastering the first 15 seconds of an interaction. Watch the video before that about building your confidence for dating success. Also, if you actually need help, again, 30 day program is available starting on November 13th. Cap it at 10 guys. Uh, I got about uh, four or five guys in that thing already, so it's gonna close out pretty soon. It's about really just taking you and holding you in a container for 30 days straight getting you to go out and practice attraction, creating habits. If that's something that you're looking for, go ahead and hit the link in the description. Anyways, guys, I love you. Be good. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.